Welcome back to Turn 7, everybody. Today, we're covering another really popular topic, lights. Now, there have been a number of different options available from Caterham, both at the front and the rear over the course of the years. So in today's short video, we're gonna take you through the different options that are available to you, what you can and can't use, the pros and cons of the different options, and how to set up your headlights at home. So first and foremost, headlights. There are two different sizes of headlamp available to you from Caterham, the seven inch headlamp and the five and three quarter inch headlamp. Both are available in either chrome or in satin black. They're also available in a number of different heights. So the old fashioned headlights sat higher on the car as well as being bigger bold, which do make a difference when it comes to where you're sitting in the car. They're a much more visual aspect and there is something really fun about watching the world go by in the reflection of your chrome headlamps, but that doesn't necessarily make them the best option. Modern day caterums use smaller five and three quarter inch headlamps more regularly, and they've also relocated them. They sit further forwards and lower down, which means that they are less obtrusive to the driver from the driving position. On top of the different sizes that are available, we also need to talk about what kind of headlight works best in a practical everyday sense. Original Caterhams come with standard halogen headlamps and have a semi-efficient way of lighting the road in front of you. There are some better options. Modern cars now using LED headlights, which are infinitely more powerful and can also be fitted with daylight running lights, something that we would strongly recommend when you're out on the roads in your seven. But how much better are they? Let's have a look. Standard Caterham headlights have three settings. Your side lights, which illuminate the bowls in a dim glow. Then your full dipped beams, which project an even ray of light across the road surface in front of you. And then your high beams, which add a long channel of light to it. These are Caterham's official LED headlights. Instead of having side lights, they're replaced with a horizontal bar known as a DRL, or daylight running light. And again, these are extremely helpful to us as drivers in ensuring that we're seen. They are a much more visible cue for other drivers than the dim glow that we get on the side lights from standard lights. Then moving to full dip beam and straight away you can see we have a huge amount more light here. With these, when you toggle them to high beams, they switch off the dip beam and translate into a high powered long channel of light. So here we're going to demonstrate the difference between Caterham's standard headlights and their LEDs. So first off, these are the standard headlights in dip beam. And here they are in main beam. Now leaving those on, let's see what Caterham's LED headlights look like by comparison with dipped beams. And here it is with full beams. As you can see, the LED lights have totally drowned out the lights coming from Caterham's standard headlamp. Here at Turn 7, we actually have another kind of LED headlight which we personally recommend. Now, it comes in at a slightly lower price to the official Caterham headlamp. The format is very much the same, so it has a centrally mounted horizontal DRL which runs through the middle of the headlight, which is a little broader than the Caterham one, which makes it slightly more visible. The real reason that we recommend these lights isn't just for the cost of them or for the DRL, but for the efficiency in particular at high beam. So where the Caterham light removes your dipped beam when it transitions to high beam, these lights actually add the high beam to the dip beam, which means that you get a greater spread of light across the tarmac and keeps those verges illuminated to you, which really are the, the key bits if you're driving through lanes at night. So what we're looking at here is the difference between Caterham's official LED headlamps and the ones that we use and recommend here at Turn 7. These are Caterham's LED lights on their dipped beam setting. As we move these to high beam, you notice that the dip beam setting switches off and the high beam projects a narrow band of high powered light down the middle of the road. Our recommended LED headlights on dipped beam 
And as we scroll these through to high beam, you'll see that we retain the standard dip beam, which gives us our width and therefore our curbs. So as the high beams come on, they add an additional beam of light, which gives a nicer and more even spread of light and ultimately better visibility. Catrum's rear lights are one of the things that makes these cars such iconic looking vehicles. Now the truth is that they come off a trailer and not just any trailer, a trailer from the 1940s. So they're not exactly modern technology. There are some improvements available out there as these, if driving with a bright sunlight behind you are not the most visible of things, as well as the standard red and orange light clusters you can get from Caterham. They do also offer these clear lens packs, which are, as the name suggests, clear lenses with coloured bulbs behind them. Caterham have now released their own new LED rear light upgrade, which are a very, very attractive looking product. There are aftermarket options available as well, most notably from a company called Just Add Lightness who do LED blocks, which go inside your existing Caterham lens, so you keep that iconic look, but with significantly better visibility. We personally now recommend pairing these to high-level brake lights and indicators, which we run up either side of the roll bar at the back, just again adding to the visibility of other vehicles. When it comes to setting up the aim of your headlights, there's quite a simple procedure that we can do at home, which requires nothing more than a tape measure and a spanner. Now the spanner will vary in size depending on how old your car is, but to adjust the headlights, we need to undo the nut which is underneath the headlight assembly to loosen it, at which point you can adjust it by hand. The principle on how to get your lights into the right place is quite simple. First off, you need a gap of five meters between your headlight and a flat surface like the wall of your house, garage door, anything you've got. We're then going to measure the center point of the headlamp to the floor. So in this case, we are 68 centimeters. Once your car is five meters away from the wall, we're going to turn our lights on. So it's obviously easier to do this at night or in the dark, uh, but for the purposes of this, these Caterham LED headlights are providing a nice amount of light for us to see what we're doing. Now the principle is that the lights need to aim downwards, but ever so slightly. And obviously we need to prevent ourselves from blinding cars coming the other way. So we always have the lights slightly higher on the passenger side than we do on the driver's side. So once you've got your five meter distance, which we don't have here, um, you need to make sure that the top of the light that's emitted on your garage door is six centimeters below the light of the headlamp on the driver's side and three centimeters below the height of the headlamp on the passenger side. So that's simply a case of getting your tape measure out. And I can see here that although the distance isn't right, these are going to be a little bit too low as here I'm seeing 61 centimeters driver's side and 64 centimeters on the passenger side. So actually not too far out. We do want our headlights pointing slightly towards the curb rather than towards the middle of the road, purely because it's the curb that we're illuminating. And again, we don't want to dazzle drivers coming the other way. We know that you won't have the proper setup equipment for lighting directions at home. So it really is just going to be your best judgments, but this is fairly well how we expect to see it. There are some rumors out there that you can't fit LED headlights to Caterham's or other vehicles retrospectively. Now that's not strictly speaking true. You cannot fit LED bulbs to a headlight assembly that was not designed to take them. You can, however, retrospectively fit complete LED lights that were designed for purpose. So that's our run through of the different headlights and tail lights that are available for Caterham's. If you've got something at home that's a bit different, there are a number of different options out there, then do feel free to share them in the comments below. 
Otherwise, if you'd like to upgrade your headlamps or look at something slightly different, then do feel free to pick up the phone to us here. We're happy to help and we have our upgrade packages available readily. We hope you found it illuminating. If you have any questions, then do feel free to post them below. Otherwise, we'd love to hear from you as to other videos that we can make for you. So do please share around and let us know what you think. But for now, that's all. Goodbye.